Hi, I'm Jonathan with Scent Physical Therapy. One thing we see in clinic a lot with cyclists, whether they're road bikers, mountain bikers, commuters, or spin class warriors, is neck pain and headaches. Uh, the position you ride in and how you ride plays a big role in that. First, let's talk about where a lot of that neck pain comes from. Part of being a cyclist is a lot of time in the saddle pedaling. We all start with great position, riding well. As you get more tired, we tend to see people dump through the thoracic spine, their rib cage collapses. That makes their neck become a bit of a train wreck and have to arch up to see where you're going. And people even kind of drop their shoulder blades around, really compressing everything on the top side of your body. When that happens, the neck has to move into a really end range position and the muscles up at the top of your skull have to work really hard. Just like any muscle, if you run them hard enough for long enough, you'll develop pain, muscle spasms, and this one in particular can cause headaches. They start at the base of your skull, wrap up and around over to your eye. There's a couple simple things you can do to try and improve that. It's easy to say don't ride like that, but frankly, some things to help get your body ready for it, along with that good advice, is usually a lot more helpful. Grabbing something like half of a foam roller or even a rolled up towel is a really good tool to help you work through your rib cage placing that towel roll or the foam roller on the wall, getting comfortable and placing it kind of right halfway through your, the height of your rib cage. From there, pulling your shoulder blades back and you should feel some stretch through your rib cage, thoracic spine, and tucking your chin really helps kind of keep that, that, that stretch in the, the mid part of your spine where it tends to get so stiff from hours of riding. Second one, taking that same block, putting it behind your head, right below the ridge on the back of your neck and dropping your tailbone down and it'll actually almost lift your head straight up and you should feel a stretch right underneath your skull. This one's also helpful to kind of turn a little to the right, a little to the left and your body will tell you where the tight muscles are and so after you ride these two exercises can really help reduce the, the resting tone so that when you get off from riding you don't have the the pull on the back of your neck and the nerves up and around your skull. Help you ride more, more in a more stable position is helping your shoulder blades figure out how they're gonna support your head and neck. I like taking a loop, putting it around your wrist. If you don't have a loop like this, uh, a flat piece of rope, cloth, anything to kind of give you something to push against will help. From here, you're gonna tuck your shoulder blades back and that introduces a little bit of tension into the band. You should find that the muscles are working the hardest right at the bottom points of your shoulder blade. From there, Slowly start to bring your arms forward, being careful it doesn't turn into a shrug. So if we're pushing forward, running from the shoulder blades, as we get higher, all of a sudden we should feel the workload increase really sharply right below your shoulder blade. I hope these couple tricks have given you some ideas of ways that you can modify how you ride. If these things don't work, please reach out to us or your healthcare provider to help talk about ways that you can improve your neck pain, and reduce the headaches you get from riding. Contact us either by phone or at our website, ascentptnw.com. Thanks for watching.